This video illustrates how to use comparison to solve a system of two equations and two variables when you have parallel lines. I don't know that the lines are parallel yet, but when I do the algebra, it will become apparent. I have the equations 2y equals 5x minus 3 and 5x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. To do comparison, I want to use algebra to isolate one of the variables in both equations, and I choose to isolate the y in both of these equations. In the blue equation, I can do this simply by dividing the entire equation by 2. And this is what I get. y is equal to 5x minus 3 all divided by 2. With the red equation, I start by isolating my minus 2y on the left side of the equals. I have minus 2y equals minus 5x minus 1. And then if I divide the entire equation by negative 2, I get y equals negative 5x minus 1 all divided by negative 2. I'm set up to do my comparison. I make what y is equal to in the blue equation equal to what y is equal to in the red equation, and it looks like this. And I can solve this with cross multiplication. The cross multiplication will look like this. Now I multiply across the brackets, and I end up with negative 10x minus 2 equals negative 10x plus 6. Getting the x terms together on one side of the equals and the constant terms together on the other side, I end up with negative 10x plus 10x equals 6 plus 2. Negative 10x plus 10x equal to 0, so my next line is 0 equals 8. This is not what normally happens when I do comparison. I usually end up with x equals number in this situation. But because all of the x terms cancelled, I have this statement, this nonsense statement, 0 equals 8. It is the fact that the statement doesn't make sense that indicates what the answer to this system is. These are parallel lines. Parallel lines never cross, so there can be no point of intersection, and therefore it makes sense that you get a nonsense statement when you do the algebra. I haven't given my answer yet, though. The answer to a system of two equations and two variables when the lines are parallel is no solution. Since the lines never cross, there is no point of intersection, so you cannot find a solution in the form of a coordinate pair. I have to say no solution, or else I have not finished answering the question. This is what it looks like when we use comparison to solve a system of two parallel lines. 